So many people are beginning to see the devastation firsthand. Others are still waiting to get back to their communities. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel shows us what that's like and has an update on the firefight in Marion County. Wet weather, more firefighters, and the ability to fly. Three positive things for the Beachy Creek Fire right now, but there is still a long way to go. And for some homeowners, the road to recovery can't even really begin yet because they still haven't been able to go back home. Danielle Larson has not been back home to Detroit since she and her fiance took this terrifying drive through Fisherman's Bend to get out nearly two weeks ago. You could feel it inside the car. We were afraid that our tires were going to melt. All I could think about was our baby. And so I covered myself in a blanket and did my best to kind of keep her safe as we got through that area. It was really, really scary. She's eight months pregnant and recently had a baby shower. They know from others their house is standing, but she's afraid it and everything in it, including all of those gifts and supplies for her baby, are ruined with smoke damage. Our entire block where we live is gone other than our house. So we know that it's there, but that also brings me out to the edge of my chair because I just want to go home and get my stuff and see my home and be home. But it's so dangerous that I know I can't. They're taking to heart the warning from officials to stay out for fear of any number of hazards from falling trees to no power or water. But there is some good news in this long fire fight. Firefighters have made progress in containment on the Beachy Creek fire. More than 100 firefighters are coming in from Canada to help on that one. And with clearer skies, they have air support now, too. We had a little bit of rain over the entire fire, up to an inch in a lot of the fire. The clouds came in, the sun kind of went away, the wind died down. It allowed us to get in there and get some work done. Officials stress this is a marathon as they continue work to contain the fires and open up more communities safely. But they understand it is so difficult to be away from home, not knowing exactly what awaits. That's the most heartbreaking part. I just want to go home. I want to see my community. I want to grieve. For me, it's I have to see something. I have to rip a Band-Aid off to get to the next part. Larson and her fiance have been able to stay with family and friends, and now they'll be renting a house in the meantime. She says she's just so thankful they're okay. But expecting a baby does add another layer of difficulty because she's going to need all of that baby stuff, and she's not sure when she might be able to go home to get it, if it will even be usable, or if she should be taking donations. Reporting from Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12, Oregon.